Hey guys, welcome to my new tutorial, and this tutorial will be the first one of the more advanced ones, getting into more advanced effects in CSS editing. And to kick it off, I'm going to show you how to do the holograms like you see in um, Viper's movies or Enigma's movies or whoever does them. Um, how they stick to the walls, float above people's heads and all of that. Now this tutorial is going to have to be split into two parts. And in this part, I'm going to be showing you how to actually make the hologram and in the second one I'm going to be showing you how to make it look like it's actually in your footage and all of that. So let's jump right into it. Okay so today I'm going to be showing you how to create um, two different types of holograms. One's more basic and one is um, slightly more advanced but still not very advanced. Okay so if we go to my channel um, you can see my iPhone video is my featured video. And the first hologram I'll show you how to create is this um, one similar to this blue one here and it's really simple to create and it's probably only going to take about two minutes okay now in these tutorials I'm assuming you have pretty basic knowledge of After Effects um, I don't need to explain every small detail and if you're just learning After Effects I'll put a link in the description to my basic After Effects tutorials and maybe they can help you okay so we want to create a new solid and we'll just make it a white solid and we'll make it comp size and we want to name it say hologram now what we can do now is go up to our shape tool here, click and hold, and choose the rounded rectangle tool. Now we just want to, with our layer selected, we want to double click on that um, button there, and it will automatically create a mask around the border. Now if we press S, we can scale it down by dragging the slider. Okay, so as you can see, we've pretty much got the basic shape there. What we can do now is press T and drag the opacity down to fade it out. Now we can duplicate this and then press S again and scale that one down a bit more press T and make that one a bit more visible, still not too visible so I'll move this one right down actually and this one down a bit more okay so as you can see we've pretty much got the whole shape there and I'm going to just show you how to make text and make it look a bit better so grab your text tool and you can type whatever you want so just scale this up and type infuse media okay now the text I'm using is Coolvetica I mean the font, but you know what I meant. <laughs> Alright, so we can position that. And then if we just grab our text tool, scale it down, you know, we can just paste all this random text that I got off the internet. Uh, if you just type in like random text generator, this stuff comes up. And it just makes it look like you got a lot of stuff going on, but you really don't. And I don't have a clue what any of it says. Alright, so that should be enough. Alright, so there we go. Okay, so right now it looks like um, there's a whole lot of random text there. Just makes the whole thing look a bit better. Okay, so now I'll quickly show you just a few other things you can add in to make it look better. So, say if you go lay on new solid and create another one, um, you can get your circle tool, click, hold shift, and control, and it'll create a perfect circle. And then if we double tap M on that circle layer we just made, it'll bring up all the mask properties. Then we can click mask one, press control D to duplicate, double tap M again, and then um, set the second one to subtract, and then bring down the expansion a bit to create this ring shape. Now if we um, get that solid and duplicate it again, we can scale that down, duplicate, scale, duplicate, scale, and you get the point. So you can just pretty much use the shape functions to create some kind of cool um, gadget looking things, it's up to you. I'm just giving you random ideas here. <laughs> Alright, so there's that one. Now if we just collapse all our layers. Okay, so we can just select all those layers and we can drag it down to the corner. And if we want to keep it a bit more organized, we can go to Layer, Pre-Compose, and we'll just call this Circle Gadget. Now we can just go ahead and scale that down. Um, you know, just put it wherever, looks cool. <laughs> um, and then we can say pre-compose all of our layers together. So layer, pre-compose, except for your footage obviously, and we'll just call this hologram 1. And now what we can do is we can change the blending mode. If you can't see the blending mode here, you can press F4 or click toggle switches. And you can set it to say overlay, which will make it look like that. Or you can set it to add, which will make it kind of glow and stuff or you can set it to screen or you can just lower the opacity 
Uh, it's really up to you. Try them all out and see how you go, I guess. I guess that's, that's pretty much it for holograms. Now, quickly I'll show you, if we just create a new solid for a sec, we can actually just use the pen tool instead of using a shape. So if we just grab that, we can actually um, create all kinds of different shapes. So, like, you know, it, it's really up to you. You can go crazy. You know, that looks like absolute crap, but... <laughs> Um, you know, it's really up to you. And if you spend some time on it, you can create some pretty cool shapes. Like, I made one in like five minutes before, and this is what I came up with. You know, it's just all different masks. So, if we click that, you can see I've masked out all of these. And it's all just one solid layer. I just used, um, different masks. And if we expand them all, you can see some are set to subtract, and some are set to add, and everything like that. So, you know, get creative, spend a bit of time on it, make it look really cool. So that's pretty much it. Spend a while on it, don't rush effects like this like I just did in the tutorial because, you know, it'll look like crap. If you're going to do it for a proper movie, spend as long as you need on it, keep going until you're happy, and you'll be satisfied with it. So in part two, I'll put an annotation here if it's uploaded when you're watching this, or I'll put the link in the description. Um, I'm going to show you how to make it stick to the walls using motion tracking and stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for watching, hope it helped, if it didn't leave a comment and I'll try and improve for future tutorials. So yeah, um, if it did help, be sure to check out my channel, um, I have plenty of tutorials if you go to the playlists, you can see I've got all my editing, um, and all my tutorials have got plenty of Sony Vegas and After Effects ones with CSS editing and everything like that. So yeah. Thanks to everyone who's commenting, watching, subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.